Hello everyone, it's me, Dr. Hopper, and today I have a real quick tutorial on an item sorting system that I built. Um, this is just a real small little setup, and I'm just going to show you the basics of it. I'm not going to show you how to build the items, because you can just look that up online. But, anyway, right into it. It's just an ender chest, a draconic chest, trash can, some perils, and ender IO item conduits. So the ender chest, you have an ender pouch, links to the ender chest, uh, item conduit extracts from the ender chest. You have two things here. You have the trash can with the item filter. It's got cobblestone, gravel, flint, dirt. You can put whatever items you don't want in here. And it's got an item priority of zero, so that'll pull it out, put it in there. Over here, we've got an item priority of two, but no item filter. That means that the trash can has first pickings over whatever's in the chest. So none of the trash will go into the chest. So in here, Draconic Chest, it's got a huge inventory. Uh, I put Auto Smelt on, so it pulls in all the ores and all the smeltable items that you put in there, and it'll just automatically smelt them for you. And the huge item, and the huge inventory helps if you get too much of one item for the barrels, it'll just stack up in there and, you know, there's huge space for it, so you don't have that much problem with overflow. For the conduits on the barrels, I don't have any item filters because the barrels are their own item filter. Ender IO item conduits will not extract an item from a chest if there's nowhere to put it at the other end of the pipe. So with barrels, that means that you're only going to have the items that you want in the barrels going out. Now you can, of course, extend this as much as you want. I only have three barrels right here, but this can be extended a tremendously long. You can put every, you can put a barrel for every item, but if you have chests or multi inventory stuff, you're going to want to have item filters on those. Otherwise, it'll just extract everything from the main chest. So that's the real basic setup. And just to show you how well it works, I have a totally legit, not hacked in at all block of everything. Well, not everything, but just various mineables. And you can see there, it's kind of filling up my inventory, but I can just dump it all in to the ender pouch, and there my inventory is clear again, I don't have to worry about it, don't have to go all the way back to base just to sort it, that's clear, it all got sucked into here, it's all been dragged down here into the, um, into the smeltery, and it's just being smelted and put into the barrels and sorted out, all the, all the, go all the cobble, uh, dirt, gravel, all that went into here. And there you go. That's how it works. That's how you build it. So, have a good one.